And speaking of stage nice three, three, Tanner McKenna out of Steel City Ninja also made it there. Ninth in power ranking. So one of our top athletes in the world in this division also finished second in points in the Midwest. Very, very smooth run from Tanner so far. Linking through that Lachey line. Went a little crooked on the trapeze as he landed because he went for that uh, one-hand Lachey reach. Kind of twisted him up slightly, but he is more than fast right now. Oh, the flywheels got him swinging sideways. Oh, no. He was doing so good on time as well. I, for a second, I was like, maybe we have a clear. We still might have a clear. Oh, and we Tanner are going to have a clear, and Tanner's fired up. He should be With first ever buzzer in the Premier Series. Some combination of Reese Connor and our final athlete, at least before our rerun, Tanner McKenna out of Steel City Ninja in Pittsburgh. We always see him at our Iron City comps. Great fashion statement with the headband and the mohawk, but also a tremendous athlete, top 10 in the power rankings, top five in Strongest Ninja, he was seventh at the World Championship. Oh, oh, he's good. He's good. He's good. Yep. Yep. I thought his foot tapped, but no, he managed to link through the skyhooks. Really going for a fast time here. Looks like he wants to just turn and go. And that's exactly what he does. Oh, he is not stopping for anything right now. Sprinting. Sprinting through the first five obstacles. Now just onto the boats. If he beats this, he looks like he would be the fastest to the final obstacle, putting himself in an excellent opportunity to become the first to complete this entire course. He's getting sideways though on a swing, makes the grab, or he makes a dismount. That puts him into first place. He's qualified for the finals in November, but he wants more. A well-deserved run. Now we're seeing a lot of these wide leg kips, but we are also seeing that they're slowing down. It's very powerful, but does take a lot of time to regenerate and about the most convenient possible time for the camera to right. reset. That's okay. It looks we like are going to go right contact. back. Yeah, it looks like he made contact with the bar there, but did not hold on. Sent the coaster down for a second, but his timer is paused with 29 seconds to spare. For what it's worth, 30 seconds very well could be enough to beat this obstacle. Here we go. Tanner's second attempt. Swing. Great kip ups there. That split leg technique. Trying to get to the trapeze. Oh. And once again, unable to grab it. However, Tanner McKenna currently finds himself in first place. Wouldn't that be something, pulling off a sweep of both the placement and challenge courses as we see how well he glided through those first six obstacles.